Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avril R32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain of that 15th place deck profile like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1300 ladder. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a 15th place Kissimmee regional deck profile of all things Chimera branded. That's right, my buddy, Valley D, shout out to my brother from another mother, getting 15th place with Chimera branded. I call dibs on the deck profile, that's why nobody else has it, and uh, we're going to go through some of his matchups here. He was really trying to get that top eight, and unfortunately he lost to, I believe it was Kamal Crooks, playing purely in the last round, um, you know. These things happen. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and go through his matchups real quick before we jump into this deck profile. So round two, he went to three games with Tier Element. He lost in time, unfortunately. Round two, he went to three games with Mana Deum and won. Round three, he quickly 2-0'd Labyrinth, and he resolved Bizer Shock, which was hilarious. He was able to bounce all the back row back. Round four, he went to three games with Sword Soul and won. Round five, he went against Unchained three games, and he won. Round six, he quickly 2-0'd Vanquish Soul. Round seven, he 2-0'd Mana Diem, Super Poly, into uh, the Guilty, Gear Free, the Iron Knight thing, which is hilarious. Round eight, he went against Unchained and 2-0. Uh, he has to give a shout-out to uh, Sky Crisis for winning him that game. Uh, and then round nine, he lost 0-2 to purely so his final standing was seven and two still a very respectable record mvp card was tau the chanter because it allowed him to play through droll and lockbird so if this card battles a monster neither can be destroyed by that battle if this card sent to the graveyard you can target one illusion monster in your grave except itself special summon it in defense also you cannot special summon from the graveyard for the rest of the turn except illusion monsters you can only use this effect of master tau once per turn so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump on into the deck profile so we're playing three copies of ash two burfamet three copies of cornfield two copies of albaz uh, three copies of Mythical Claws, three Fenrir, which he said just was sticking to his hand all day. Fenrir is a god card. Uh, one copy of Tau, three copies of Sword Knight, because it's basically a Lone Fire Blossom, three copies of Book of Eclipse. So he and I were actually kind of going back and forth on this while we were uh, in the lab cooking this up. Um, but Book of Eclipse really worked out well. Uh, I unfortunately opted not to go with it for tier, but he said that Book of Eclipse was just fantastic. Uh, three copies of Branded Fusion, because it's Branded Fusion. Uh, three copies of Chimera Fusion, because we're Chimera branded. Three copies of Prosperity, because it's good. Three copies of Super Poly, because this is also a god card. And you got to keep in mind that, like, you have a decent amount of extra deck space in this deck. So, like, you can play things like Garua. Um, you are on Branded, so, like, in theory, you can kind of do cheesy things against, like, a Branded Mirror Match. You got Mud Dragon, Drago Scapellia, um, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you can't do Guardian Chimera, but, well, actually, in theory, you can. Well, no, because you have to use something from the hand. But then the Guilty Gear Freed is a fantastic target, especially for Infernoble, because it just takes two warrior monsters with different names. Uh, and then moving on to the traps, we got three Imperm, and then we're main deck in the three TC Boo. TC Boo is good going first or second. Um, I ended up side decking TC Boo in my tier build, um, but in tier, that's a bit of a different story. But TC Boo in the main good going first or second, shuts down a lot of decks, shuts down uh, Infernoble, shuts down Unchained, Unchained, unless the player is like super, super good and like just thinking ahead and considering TC Boo as an issue, then they'll have uh, one, one of the Unchained cards that like pops on the field to clear their board or something like that. I forget which card it is. Um, for the side deck, we're playing one Visor Shock. So if this card's summoned, return all set cards on the field with the hand. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Ah, it's a fiend, so you can drop it out with the new, uh, which one is it here, the Burfamet? Yeah, the Burfamet Fusion, you drop this thing out. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, one Panker Tops, three Droll, three Valor, three Nib. We're going heavy on these hand traps. Uh, one Feather Duster and three Evenly Match. Um, yeah, I was shocked when he showed me his side. He showed that he was playing so many uh, hand traps on the side. But when you have decent room uh, for non-engine, like, you could even consider the Fenrir's non-engine, because really, the only thing that's engine, per se, is, like, your illusion monsters, so, like, the Big Wing Burfamet, the Cornfield, Albaz, Mythical Claws, these things, the Chimera Fusion, Brand Fusion, Book of Eclipse isn't, um, engine, per se, Super Poly, you can make the argument, depending on the matchup, is an engine, um, even the hand traps aren't really engines, because you could just swap them out for different hand traps, same with Tikaboo, so you have a lot of options available to you. Uh, for the extra deck, we're playing one Albion, 
one uh, Burfa mat. So people don't know how this card works, which is really funny because I've seen like feature matches for like YCSs and stuff where people are summoning stuff like from the wrong zone. So this is two monsters with different types, Beast, Fiend, or Illusion. This card's name becomes Chimera while on the field or in the graveyard. You can always use the following effects of Burf Burfa mat once per turn. If this card's fusion summon, you can send one Beast, Fiend, or Illusion monster from your deck to the grave. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish this card from your grave, then target one of your banished Beast, Fiend, or Illusion monsters except Burfa mat, special summon. It. So you dump the Bizer Shock to the graveyard, and then if you get the Burfamet into the grave, and it's the opponent's turn, you can go like end phase banish Burfamet, summon Bizer Shock, bounce all your set cards back to the hand. Yeah, it's a it's a fun time. Uh, and then we're playing one of the Chimera Illusion Beast, two copies of the uh, Chimera Phantom Beast. One Garua, one Guilty Gear Freed. So two warrior monsters with different attributes. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card quick effect, you can negate that effect. And if you do, destroy one card on the field. If this card is fusion summoned using only monsters on the field as a material, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. This thing is 2700 attack, by the way. Once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage count quick effect, you can banish one spell from your grave. This card gains attack equal to half its current defense till the end of this turn. The judges ended up ruling, uh, because the, the wording is a little bit weird on it, uh, it's kind of like a to each their own thing where you could word it as or it could be interpreted as it gains attack equal to half the defense of the monster it's battling or it's half the defense of its own the judges ended up ruling it's half the defense of the guilty gear freed itself so it gains an extra 800 attack Still a really good effect, though. Uh, one Guardian Chimera, because it's good. Uh, one Lubellion, one Mirror Jade, one Mud Dragon, one Dragos Capellia, one Rinbrum, and then one Sky Crisis, because this card's broken AF, honestly. And then one SP Little Knight, because it's $100 for a reason. This card's fucking bananas. Um, so, yeah, that's really all of the notes um, that he gave me for this deck profile. Fenrir obviously being an amazing card, Super Poly being an amazing card. Uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about this 15th place deck profile. Again, shout out to my homie Valley D. I'm sure he'll be in the comments answering questions as well because I tried playing his build and I ended up breaking every time, but it worked for him. So I'm like, you do you, boo boo. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.